let me kill Mr. Head Z1, machine gunner without machine gun, it's like something wrong. Like crate for broken leg, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, hello everybody, this is War Story Video Blog. I'm Alex and here we are in Belgium. And here in Belgium, a lot of uh, military museums uh, and uh, I already shown you a couple of them. It was a museum uh, in La Roche and Ardennes and a uh, museum December 44, uh, near Lagles, where uh, Piper's uh, personal belongings you can find. And now we came to Bastogne. Uh, here in Bastogne, uh, it was very important battle and uh, uh, it was very important uh, key point uh, for uh, Allied forces. And the Allied forces has been surrounded here um, during the Battle of Bulge. And it was a really serious and important uh, battle. Allied forces dropped here um, airborne divisions uh, like 101 airborne uh, scream eagle division and um, they stayed here really hard uh, so here behind of my uh, back there is a museum uh, about this battle and let's go inside and uh, I will show it to you briefly and if you like it you can text comment and uh, tell me i will uh, come back here and uh, show you items closer so if you like it don't forget to tell it So exhibition starts here and we can see here M4 uh, Sherman with uh, 105 mm gun and uh, here we can see uh, four main characters of this museum. Uh, I do not want to spoil you the stories that uh, this museum uh, Will share with you uh, in the multimedia part of this museum because it's very interesting and when you attend it it will be cool but i will focus mostly uh, on the items in this museum for example uh, in edged weapon because i main mainly focused on it for example here we can see hitler youth knife uh, on the hitler youth uh, display postcards pictures uh, armband and also uh, edged weapon it's like symbolize of this um, organization and on this wall whole story from 1933 uh, to 19 39. Here we can see the moment when Hitler uh, got the power and uh, after that it was uh, Olympic Games and uh, a lot of Olympic artifacts we can see here on this display and next uh, it was um, war in uh, Spain and also uh, artifacts from this period um, exist here and beginning of the uh, World War II also we can see. So this interesting hall is only beginning but after that uh, there is a film like 3D film uh, with uh, this June 644 operation overlord uh, you can see here plan of this uh, battle and uh, normally you can see here film with uh, historical content and i don't want to spoil it to you uh, when you will come here you will see it. interesting display here with nice light uh, and we can see here life vest this life vest has been used by american pilot uh, here in 19 44 and uh, those straps it's uh, parachute straps uh, that members of 101 um, parachute division uh, used for uh, landing here uh, during the operation overlord and the original battle damaged um, shells helmets we can see here and uh, this is liner and you can see here trace of this uh, damage actually it's very interesting to see it and uh, most of these helmets has been destroyed but this one is still uh, here and this helmet and liner set of the uh, 17th airborne division 507th infantry regiment and this helmet identified um, as belonging of second lieutenant uh, william c Aubel. he has been killed in combat in normandy on uh, 5th july 1944 so this is very historically important uh, item 
item and uh, it's pretty impressive. In next hall we can see a story about Soviet forces and about Churchill, Roosevelt and Stalin met uh, in Tehran and agree of the landings in France and the major Soviet offensive uh, on 19. 8th December of 1943. And these artifacts is also very interesting because it's pretty scarce. Uh, jacket, uh, it's like mid-season jacket and uh, this is S. Sha uh, 39. You can see it, you can easily recognize it with three rivets on the top. Uh, so these helmets uh, produced before 1941. Um, also we can see here carbine, Mosin carbine uh, 1944 model with folded um, bayonet and Pepasha PPSH uh, 41. Uh, it's also a nice example without uh, post war repair. And um, also some more uh, Soviet stuff here, and Dushanka for sure. Um, here we can see Japanese section uh, with surgeon uh, Japanese. Uh, sword and some more uh, Japanese material and more and more items also. Um, we can see here on this small display, by the way, miniature of bayonet, we can see here uh, on this souvenir um, item and look at that. Um, this is a kind of propaganda uh, teenies and uh, you can see a special uh, teeny with like badge with Belgium, uh, Great Britain and American flag and uh, this one is also uh, interesting like Soviet Russia uh, t-shirt and uh, France and Belgium hat and uh, <laughs> Great Britain pants and uh, socks is American flag and this is a bull um, uh, this is uh, third period period uh, insignia here so it's kind of interesting uh, souvenirs a uh, few more um, displays with scale model of V2 or V1 and uh, other German aircraft. And this display about Volkssturm, you can see here a um, member of Volkssturm on the picture and here also, uh, and Panzerfaust in his uh, hand. And a pretty ineffective uh, helmet, you can see it's Lutschutz helmet uh, on his um, head also martyr here with uh, ammunition boxes and very famous pictures also uh, here. Let's go downstairs, it should be something interesting here. This is very sad display because we can see here uh, items that civilians uh, wanted to save and this is like column of um, civilians with uh, kids cart with bicycles with um, personal belongings and uh, with this bicycle and this bicycle you can see you can recognize this uh, box it used to be a military bicycle but then uh, it has been repainted but anyway um, this is a start of uh, battle for our dance uh, battle of bulge and uh, uh, civilian uh, people just try to escape from the battle area. And here we can see a small tank killer uh, nicknamed Hetzer. And everybody knows it. And uh, let me kill Mr. Hetz that one. Uh, you can see it on uh, your screen. But this one is actually it's pretty low because I have like more height than um, this tank, but anyway, uh, this very interesting uh, item, very interesting, because uh, you can just see it very close, and it's actually scarce at the moment, uh, it's pretty hard to find it uh, in museums in original condition. In this display we can see uh, three mannequins and this is a um, radio operator uh, from S German Wehrmacht Signal Corps and uh, you can see here uh, eagle and you can see here white piping on uh, his shoulder boards, it means uh, his infantry. And uh, this is a late model um, jacket, uh, you can see it because uh, there is like simplified uh, pocket on his uh, tunic. This is SS man, SS machine, uh, machine gunner with machine gun pouch, with uh, machine gun ammunition belt and also with machine gun. 
because machine gunner without machine gun it's like something wrong uh, but you can see it's dot camouflage on him and uh, this is Wehrmacht soldier Wehrmacht soldier because of uh, his belt buckle uh, is just got me to SS head um, my era high straw button belt buckle and actually uh, we can see he holds uh, Sturm Gewehr MP44 uh, in his hands and um, this is also late camouflage for period for 1944 and look at this original pouch for uh, MP44 magazines uh, that's quite rare and pretty nice and actually you can recognize him as a Wehrmacht um, you can see Wehrmacht Eagle on his M42 helmet uh, and most likely it's ET helmet uh, that's very interesting and nice original material here on this side we can see MP40 uh, uh, submachine gun and Mauser K98 um, on the lower section on the floor uh, we can see Panzer Shrek uh, with ammunition box. It's pretty impressive uh, anti uh, tank missile launcher or how to say. It. Uh, so Panzer Shrek is uh, it, it was very effective and it's pretty easy to recognize it on the um, original footage. And uh, look at that. This one is a really nice example with um, not just a tube. <laughs> we can see here sides and we can see the special shield and this special shield uh, covers operator because it was a pretty powerful rocket and uh, this is a special glass a thick glass and um, sometimes in uh, Königsberg area in uh, Russia uh, people and in Ukraine people find Panzer Shreks uh, on the ground you know because after the battles uh, sometimes they just dropped it. This is Sturm Geschutz crew member. You can see uh, the color of his jacket and uh, red, uh, not pink, uh, piping on his shoulder boards and collar tabs. And he has been awards. Uh, he has been awarded uh, Iron Cross second class and uh, General Assault badge and black uh, wound badge. So this is uh, P38 uh, with map case and this is 88 millimeters um, shells and look at that it's really big compared with the uh, human size so after that we can see here American side American side um, this is a tanker and uh, machine gunner also and we can compare American machine gunner and uh, SS man machine gunner with uh, his supplies and pouches and other stuff it's very interesting also in museum it's uh, in museum um, when you can compare uh, items ammunition and field equipment from two different um, sides of the battle and here we can see pretty famous item this is uh, original bazooka this is m1 a1 model and a lot of videos in internet uh, you can see about it but it's very interesting to compare american uh, bazooka here and panzer shrek on that side and main weapon of this uh, battle this is m3 uh, a1 uh, submachine gun and this is m1 uh, carbine and garand and this is very uh, interesting sight of this uh, tank killer and um, I like this one and it was pretty early model because uh, you can see this uh, wheels uh, this base uh, is Panzer 38 uh, from Czechoslovakia concept of this display is very cool you can see here two sides of the um, battle and uh, left side is Germans right side allied force and uh, here also we can see two um, that this one uh, we can see it's uh, German maps and uh, here we can see maps in <laughs> English and um, like lucky strike and uh, American match uh, or Yes, American, and uh, here we can see the same stuff, but German stuff, and German telephone, and um, 
original uh, American radio. And look at that, it's also very important for this concept because uh, this is radio, so, uh, and this is like stationer um, phones. So I think it's also a uh, very nice and thin uh, detail. And here we can see original uh, Kubu wagon. This Kubu wagon is um, original commander car, command car. Yeah, and we can see here really nice. It has been repainted, but it was really nice job. And uh, here inside, it's also very nice restored, and uh, it looks fresh and clean. That's cool, uh, and it doesn't look uh, not authentic. So it's. It looks authentic, <laughs> correct. Uh, also SS license plate on the back and uh, original these parts. And uh, in my reenactor club uh, in St. Petersburg, it also was uh, Kubelwagen, so I, I like this car. And this is a very interesting display. We can see um, the same sign uh, from this very, very uh, famous picture. Uh, and we can see here this sign of the city of uh, Boston and actually 101. This is Commander Scarzeni display and I have special report for you about uh, these soldiers. But this display shows us uh, something special. This is F. G uh, 42 Fallschirmjäger uh, Gever 42 uh, and this is probably most valuable um, automatic rifle that we uh, can see on the market because uh, this is the first model with um, steel uh, how to say it like butt stock or stock um, with, with this part and this is really cool. This is really cool because it's probably cost like two hundred thousand uh, dollars or something like that. So uh, there was uh, example an auction. I just don't remember because we cannot compare it with uh, second model with wooden uh, how to say it, like buttstock or just text comment how to call this uh, this part of the uh, gun. Oh yeah. Number three, FG 42. G 43. Uh, we can see here this is a semi automatic rifle. Uh, and this guy, you can see he is in uh, American uniform, but this is um, Otto Skarzeni guy uh, who just wear, uh, wore uh, this uniform. Next haul will be with a movie. I will not show it to you. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, but this is a very interesting concept of this museum. And uh, if you will go to uh, Belgium, just go and check it. That's very cool. And this is very impressive example. And you can see here uh, M4 Sherman with uh, battle damage. And uh, you can see what happened uh, inside. You remember the movie Fury, and it's kind of this story. Because uh, we can see here everything. Uh, we can see how tight uh, is inside. And we can see here um, the part of metal like damaged everything inside. So if uh, something broken here, it means like uh, there is no uh, safe place uh, inside the tank. So that's pretty sad uh, story. So this one uh, have the name Absenti and uh, probably we have to Google this uh, story about this tank. But actually it's very impressive because uh, it has not been uh, taken apart and now it's like a monument of uh, that brave story uh, fighting against uh, Nazi Germans here in Belgium. And here we can see also German weapon and uh, this is M G42 uh, with um, 80 millimeter smart air and uh, with shells, with boxes, with uh, spare barrels. Because uh, if you use this machine gun, you have to uh, change barrels often because it be <laughs> become really hot. Uh, so here also very uh, very nice displays with uh, supplies with items with like knives and forks with uh, special officer sets with mask kits and with everything from uh, germans for example this one is um, gravity knife first model and uh, 
two buckles. This buckle uh, with removed eagle, this buckle like got me tunes with uh, original eagle and also uh, original pick cap, uh, German pick cap with uh, white piping, which means uh, this is infantry uh, regiment. And this is a special agitation uh, grenade. You can see here this shell and um, they send it from our tires and uh, it explode uh, on the air and bring these special papers um, with agitation to the uh, allied positions and some of them uh, in Russian language we can see on Eastern Front so it's also an uh, interesting part of this story and also different kind of uh, supplies and personal belongings uh, and probably we can find here yeah, coffee uh, that I, I'm going to try because uh, friend of mine gave me um, the small can of coffee you can see it on your screen and I will try it when I will come back to the United States uh, so here we can see also machine gun and uh, martyr with ammunition with all stuff um, that has been used by Allied force. Battle between Allied and German air forces uh, was very important site of this um, battle. And this is a German fuel tank that has been dropped from aircraft when it became empty. So uh, this is very interesting uh, material also. Can I tell you an interesting detail too? Oh yeah, sure. Yes. Please. You see that here you got two people wearing overshoes. Ah. And under these overtures, you see there are cavalry boots. Yeah. And very few people wear these cavalry boots. And Patton got cavalry boots. And if you look closer here, these are the two staff from Patton, after the story that is mentioned there. Yeah, and this his original stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's very really interesting. And uh, yes. this, this is a, a liner from the 4th uh, Armored Division. Very cool. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. This is tank destroyer. You go the raincoat, and under you got the magno, and this is a rain pump. I never see one like that, but it's a tank destroyer unit you see on his helmet. Mm -hmm. And you got the radio from the tank. And don't forget that the overshoes were very limited on the terrain mm -hmm. because you know few people have them, and after the counteroffensive when they had them. You know, it's not efficiency at all because it ripped on the ice. Uh -huh. So they fell off with the shoes, so they just dropped them off the road. Okay. okay. Actually, it was a very interesting detail because um, in Soviet items, um, exactly the same story. You can see uh, most simple items uh, that uh, soldiers that just didn't like to wear uh, now became... <laughs> <laughs> most rare, you know, uh, that's very interesting. Next so, part of this museum is um, medical supplies because it's um, it was very important and it is very important for any battle. And uh, this is German sanitator with two German uh, medical pouches. Uh, you can see the difference compared with just regular um, pouches for ammunition. And uh, here we can see special uh, canteen with special straps, special system of straps. This is also for um, sanitars, for nurses, for military nurses. And actually he, have, uh, he has uh, his own uh, canteen, but this one for um, patients, for, for people who uh, wounded, you know what I mean. So this is uh, original DRK Deutsche Rotkreuz. Um, German Red Cross uh, dagger, and uh, you can see here, or here, uh, you can see here, this one is so back, and uh, the tip of blade uh, looks like screwdriver, so it's, it was a many, a lot of legends about uh, this type of knives, because they just can, like, uh, create, um, like, create for broken leg, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, and um, I don't think so, I, I, I think it's just a, uh, part of design and also here we can see uh, American nurse uh, and American helmets with, uh, with red crosses on it and this is a medical helmet original in original paint and it's very impressive and uh, very historically important items uh, also on the next part uh, we can see here also pretty sad um, story pretty sad picture because uh, this is a 
kids toy uh, that was also here in uh, Bastogne. And this is also a civilian accountant book that has been uh, damaged during the uh, battle. On this side, we can compare winter camouflage, German one and uh, American one. American uh, soldier with M1 Garant, we can see on the left side and on the right side. Um, we can see German soldier with MP40 submachine gun and with um, holster for P38. Uh, P38 is pretty famous uh, pistol, you can see it on the screen. And um, it was also very valuable for American veterans and uh, they took many of them uh, as war souvenirs and uh, they brought it uh, back to the United States. And uh, this mannequin, I also want to pay attention on uh, these white straps. These white straps are pretty rare because it's very uh, early one or this is a backpack. No, it's. No, it's original white straps. Cool. Because um, you can see white metal is um, aluminum and aluminum white straps is pretty rare and before 1940. And it's really hard to find it, especially in our days. Uh, on the back, we can see here a frame um, with canteen, with um, uh, Zeltbahn, with his gas mask canister and with his um, shovel. So this is a very nice, very nice uh, mannequin with uh, really detailed. I I I, I just enjoy it. Uh, I'm just enjoying to see it. Uh, that's cool. And actually, this MP40 um, also in really nice uh, condition. And uh, here also pretty uh, scarce uh, to find. Um, tanker helmet in winter uh, camouflage. Also some more items here, but we do not have enough time to stop and uh, see it that this time, maybe next uh, season, I will come back here and see it uh, like closer and show it to you also with close views. Uh, if you like this, uh, Museum videos. This is the original bicycle with original uh, ammunition box. And this box is very nice because uh, sometimes you can see there uh, like tools for MG uh, ammunition belt, sometimes few M24 grenades you can see there. Uh, this is really nice uh, display also. This grenade launcher attached to the um, German uh, Mauser 98 and then um, this grenade uh, released by um, blank uh, ammunition, you know what I mean? So it's also very nice and I can um, prepare my speech in English about this stuff uh, if you're interested in to uh, see it. But it's pretty rare, pretty scarce. This is a picture of uh, the small pretty town, La Roche and Ardennes. I uh, stayed here, uh, I stayed there many times and uh, just look at that, how beautiful is this town. And in this town there is another museum uh, museum of uh, about this battle, so I also uh, highly recommend it uh, to attend it. And here, uh, in the end of display, uh, we can see also different uh, war memorabilia, for example, these uh, shells, uh, this bayonet, and look at that, this bayonet um, became <laughs> like hammer. Uh, it's also kind of, kind of cool. And here we can see another impressive um, display with German tank that turned upside down and it symbolized uh, the German war machine has been knocked out. Uh, and on the other side uh, we can see American aircraft that also has been knocked down. So we have to remember the price of these uh, victories. And uh, here on this display is very very interesting items. Uh, this is dug relics. For example, here we can see two American helmets and this one uh, have battle damages and a few bullet holes here uh, from the face to uh, the back of head. And more and more items we can see here that has been left uh, on the battlefield. And in our days, uh, guys, 
found it and brought back here um, and put on the displays. And it's very important stuff, in my opinion. And um, this is the right place for uh, it. For example, here we can see uh, Mauser. Uh, K98, uh, this is Garand, this is um, Panzer Faust, M42 helmet, um, American helmet, uh, M40 helmet and M another M42 um, Germans and uh, American gas mask with grenades, with pouch, with uh, goggles and um, German Bayonet. This German bayonet, it most likely has been found without uh, the scabbard. American uh, shovel and American pistol. No, it's not American pistol, just pistol. <laughs> um, and this is Browning also. Probably it was from another, from another battle. And uh, more and more items uh, and personal belongings. And in the very end of the display, uh, after all uh, items, we can see here uh, kids' toys, kids' toys about liberation. And this display, this last display, uh, calls children and liberation, liberation. And this is kind of cool, and it uh, gives you like hope that everything will be great. <laughs> <laughs>